Hi, Mike here. Last week, I got an email from Tim who asked if there's a way to highlight the highest and lowest values in a pivot table row. I promised Tim that I'd answer his question in this week's video. What I'm going to do is apply conditional formatting to the cells in this pivot table, excluding the totals, so that the highest value in each row has a green background and white text, and the lowest value in each row has a red background with white text. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Let's do the highest value first. The simplest way to do this is to select B3 to H3. Remember, I'm having to do this row by row. So select B3 to H3, then go up to Conditional Formatting, Top Bottom Rules. And you can see that we've got top 10 items and we've got bottom 10 items. As I said, I'll do the top one first. So select Top 10 Items, change the 10 to 1, and then set the conditional formatting by clicking the drop down arrow, choosing custom format, and then applying the format that you want to set, which in this case is fill the cell background with green and set the font color to white. And that has highlighted the highest value in that row. I will then select all the cells with the numbers in again, just for row three, double click the format painter, and then select all the cells with the numbers in in row four, and row five, and row six, and so on. So you can see I'm having to do this row by row, but what it is doing is it is highlighting the cell in that row with the highest value. Then click on format painter to turn the format painter off. But not only was that time consuming, if I go back to conditional formatting manage rules, it's actually created seven rules, which means that if I need to change anything about the rules, say the color or the range that it's applied to, I'd have to do it seven times. So having cleared the rules from this sheet, here's another way, slightly more complex, but at least it only requires a single rule. I'm going to select this time B3 through to H9. So all the cells with the numbers in except the totals. Then go to conditional formatting, new rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And the formula is going to be equals B3 equals max open brackets B3 colon H3, close brackets. So the formula is saying if the value in B3, B3 being the first cell in the first row of the pivot table that contains a numeric value, if the value in B3 is equal to the highest value in the range B3 to H3, B3 to H3 being all the cells in the first row of the pivot table that contains a numeric value. If that is true, then apply whatever format we set, which we haven't set yet, but it will be the green background and the white text. Before we do that, we need to add some dollar signs into the formula to make certain cell references absolute. So let me add those dollar signs in and then I'll explain it. I'm going to type a dollar sign before the B within the brackets and a dollar sign before the H. Although we've only entered one formula, we've got a whole range of cells selected. So what we're saying is the formula is to be applied to all the selected cells. But on row four, we want it to refer to B4 to H4. On row five, we want it to refer to B5 to H5 and so on. The dollar sign before the B and H means keep the reference to columns B and H. We don't need dollar signs before the row numbers because, as I said, the row numbers need to change. We also don't need dollar signs around the first B3 because we want that to reference B4, B5, C4, C5, and so on. Basically, 
we want to compare the value in every cell in the pivot table to the highest value in that row. So once I've done that, I'll click Format, and then I'll click Fill and choose Green and Font and choose White. Click OK and OK again. And now we've got the highest value in each row selected. I then need to do the same for the lowest value. And the quickest way to do that is to select all of the cells again in the pivot table, except the totals, go to conditional formatting, manage rules, select the rule that I've just created and duplicate it, and then edit it, edit the copy that is, and then go and change the formula. So instead of max, I'll change it to min and then go and apply the format. So in this case of the lowest value, the fill color will be red, but the font color will still be white. So I can leave that, click OK and OK again and OK again. So you can now see that for each row, it's highlighted the highest value for that row in green and the lowest value in that row with red. And what happens if the underlying data changes? Let me show you. You can see that for strawberry, Seattle has the largest value. So I'm going to go to the raw data. I'm going to go to row two, and I'm going to change the value to 5,000. Basically something big so that we will see a difference. If I then go back to the pivot sheet, do a refresh to update the pivot table. You can now see that for Strawberry, Atlanta is the green one. Well, Tim and everybody else, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.